This is Cindy Pope. I'm here at the Cool Tools studio to introduce my new set of eight templates. There's three in each set and the sets are very interesting because you can create probably 15 or 20 different pieces with each set. You can also mix and match the set. And I've done samples for you in Cypress Copper and FS999 and each piece is a little bit different. But let me tell you about the second one which is very unique. It's called a faux two-layered piece. And what you're going to be able to do with this template is make a piece that is two layers without having to laminate them together, which will save you so much work, um, whether you're teaching or making these personally, and you'll get a piece that looks complicated but is easy to make. So I hope you enjoy them, and please um, write us and show us your pieces. Okay, so let me introduce you to these templates. Um, each template is different variations of the same shape. They come in A, which is the basic shape, B, which is a faux layered shape, and C, which is a crossover earring shape. And I made an attempt to do lots of different combinations, and I kind of gave up when there were so many different combinations. And you can also mix and match the different eight sets. So let me show you how I use these to plan the pieces. For this, I'm gonna use these two. And a lot of times I'll do a base that's made out of the largest shape. And this just gives you a general idea. And then I'll do the faux two layered shape underneath it. And I know a lot of you like to plan out your pieces. So with the faux two layered shape, what happens is you have a second bit that is going higher, then you have a middle layer which is not textured, and then usually I put a textured piece in the back or we actually texture the back of the piece. And I'm going to be giving you specific videos that show you how to put some pieces together. So that's how you can use them to plan, and I'm looking forward to sharing the projects with you. Okay, so here is the organic teardrop set that I just showed you. We used a texture called Nouveau Fouquet, and here are some pieces that I made. And you can see they're all different because I've used different parts of these different templates on them. So let's go on to the next set. Okay, here is the set called New Shield, and you can see we have the A, B, and the C, and the pieces that I've made with it. And I use this cool texture called Swirly Hearts, and it actually has lots of different options for texture. It's a great texture. Okay, so now I'm going to introduce two of the template sets because I use the same texture with both of these, and it's Ancient People's Fine Line, and I just love this texture. It looks fabulous. So the first one is a stretch shield, and that's um, this one over here, and I really like the different varieties. I made the shape on the inside a little bit rounder than the outside, and I just love these earrings. I wear them all the time. And the other one is a tribal triangle, and I did it plain with silver, and then I used the ancient people's texture. And I also wanted to show you, this is, um, one of the first one, but I actually layered two pieces and this one's going to be enameled. So it's great for enameling bases also. So this is the wide drop template and we have A, B, and C. And I actually did a heat patina on these and I think the cypress copper just looks beautiful with a heat patina. I did them in silver with a brushed look and I used the fairy wings and I actually drilled some holes and I was really happy with the way it turned out. Okay, this template is a rounded hex tag, and I used the um, Lost in Wonderland texture, and I used the Innie and the Audi. So on the back, I used the Audi, and on the front, I used the Innie, and this is a three-layered piece. So I used two of these templates, and then on the earrings, I actually used both and one for the crossover earrings. And I like in the crossover earrings to put texture on half 
and leave half untextured, it really makes the texture pop. This template is called Home, and it's got three different sections, and I made a lot of different pieces. So let me show you. I used um, an easy release texture plate, which I love, and it actually, um, I'm going to use it in a project video for this project, and this is uh, Brilliant Bronze from Hadar, and you can use certain stones you can't use with silver, and this is a tanzanite stone. It's a beautiful color that they have in the Cool Tools store, and I definitely, if you're using something that's fired in carbon, it's a beautiful color. I also used Snail Parade, which is a great texture, and I used it on the silver earrings, and I think it turned out beautifully. Something new I've tried out is a new product Cool Tools has, and it's called Shiva Paint Sticks. And these are an oil and wax stick that I've used to patina the inside of this interwoven leaves texture. And I was really happy with the way it turned out. I covered it with Renaissance Wax after it dried for a couple days. This next template is called Draped Arch. It's kind of an architectural shape. And what I did is I made some silver earrings using the interwoven leaves texture. And then I also, this is a texture um, that is not available yet, but I'm working on some um, textures that are made from stencils. Thanks so much for joining me in learning about these new templates. I hope you enjoy the project videos that we're gonna do that will show you in more detail how to use them. Visit our learning center at cooltools.us for more cool jewelry making videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and be sure to sign up for our email list to be the first to hear about new videos, new products, and other cool stuff from Cool Tools.